Hello, welcome to the Oscars edition of Lost in Movies with Alec Kerr, with my co-host this week. Bob Kerr, uh, I'm currently a teacher at the Snow School in Freiburg and also a film enthusiast. And uh, just gonna clear this up right off the top here. Yes, he is my father. This isn't some sort of nepotism thing. I just happen to know that he's the one of the few people, actually probably the only person I know who has seen all the vast majority of the Oscar movies simply because uh, we saw them together. Uh, so we're going to just go through the uh, the major categories, uh, sp starting with uh, supporting actor up to best picture. And so we're going to start with the supporting actress category. And the nominees are uh, Amy Adams for The Fighter, Melissa Leo for The Fighter, uh, Helena Bonham Carter for King's Speech, uh, Haley Steinfeld or Steinfeld uh, for True Grit, and Jackie Weaver for The Animal Kingdom. And it's probably going to be, the Oscars are probably going to pick uh, Helena Bonham Carter for the King's Speech. Uh, she's already won the BAFTA Award, which is the British equivalent of the uh, Academy Awards. And it is a very good performance and shows a little bit something different from her. She's doing, been doing a lot of work with, uh, with Tim Burton. Um, and so she's been doing a lot of quirky, idiosyncratic work. And so this was kind of a more uh, human performance. And it's very warm and very funny. You. You. It's your majesty the first time. After that, it's ma'am, as in ham, not mom, as in palm. I haven't told her about us. Sit down, relax. I'm told your husband calls my husband Bertie, and my husband calls your husband Lionel. I trust you won't call me Liz. Your majesty, you may call me Mrs. Lowe, ma'am. Very nice to meet you, Mrs. Lowe. Um, personally, I would prefer to see Haley Steinfeld win from True Grit. I don't think she's going to, but, uh, you know, it was a remarkable performance for this 13-year-old girl. She carried the film. Uh, it's not a supporting character role. Um, she is the lead actress in that movie. Um, but I guess, I guess because they just true, since it's True Grit and, you know, it was John Wayne's character, now it's Jeff Bridges' character, I guess, in the mind of the Academy, it's uh, he's the main character and the, the girl is the uh, supporting character. Can we depart this afternoon? We? <laughs> you are not going. That is no part of it. Well, you have misjudged me if you think I'm silly enough to give you $50 and watch you simply ride off. I'm a bonded U.S. Marshal. That weighs but little with me. I will see the thing done. I've been the duck. Can't go after Ned Pepper and Ben the hard men look after a baby at the same time. I am not a baby. Won't be stopping at boarding houses where there's warm beds and hot grub on the table. I'll be traveling south, eating light. But the sleeping is going to take place on the ground. Well, I have slept out at night before. Papa took me a little Frank Coon hunting last summer on the Petty Jean. We were in the woods all night. We sat around a big fire and yarn all told ghost stories. It's a great performance. Um, and. Uh, I, I, would, I would like to see her win, but it's probably going to be Helena Bonham Carter. Well, I'd have to agree with Alec. Uh, I, I, I pick Helen, Helena Bonham Carter myself. That's who I, I would choose. And I believe the Academy will as well. Uh, but I would, I really enjoyed uh, Haley uh, Steinfeld. Um, remarkable for, for a, a young actress. And, but once again, she shouldn't have been in the supporting role. She was a uh, lead actress. Uh, so I do have that bone of contention. Yeah, but I mean, since it's in that category, um, I guess uh, for me, of those five actresses, uh, I thought I do think she was the best, but it's not going to happen. All right, uh, so next category, best supporting actor, and the nominees are. Uh, Christian Bale for The Fighter, John Hawks for Winter's Bone, Jeremy Renner for The Town, Mark Ruffalo for The Kids Are All Right, and Jeffrey Rush for The King's Speech. Uh, I think the Academy is definitely going to go with Christian Bale for this one. Uh, it's really a, a, a very remarkable performance. He plays a, you know, a, a junkie, and he, he doesn't really follow into sort of the stereotypical drug addict performance. It's a very real performance, and it does have an arc because his character starts out 
totally strung out at the beginning of the film. And by the end, he kind of does clean up a little bit. And you see the subtle difference. Not like he's a completely transformed man, but you do see kind of the subtle difference in, in, in his performance in, in now that he's clean. He's still the same kind of losery kind of guy, but uh, you do see very subtly how, how he changed uh, from being clean, from being druggy to being clean. I know you know what I'm doing. I'm sure Alice and everybody else told you. I just wanted to tell you to face myself. I got new management. Mickey will keep my training now. It's all good. Yeah. They got you fighting Alfonso Sanchez. On HBO. And you're proud of that. Right. What's your plan? How are you going to fight Sanchez? I ain't going to talk about that. What's your plan? I am not here to plan? talk about what? that. Yes, you are. You watch the fight and you'll see the plan. Hey. Mick, what is it? You're scared and embarrassed because you don't even have a plan on your brother. Just tell me. Go. You gotta run against this guy. Let him punch himself out. Take him to the body, right? Get inside. Switch stances like you're gonna work his right. Hit him on the left. You ain't me. All right, you can't be, be me. You had a hard enough outside. time being you when you had your chance, and that's why you're in here. All right? I'll fight Sanchez the way I fight. Um. I do think that Jeffrey Rush really, uh, he, he, does, he does almost deserve it just as much because in, in the King's speech, um, both him and, and Colin Firth, you stop really seeing them as, as, their, as the actors and you just see them as the characters. But Christian Bale, it's his year and it's a great performance. Well, once again, I have to agree with Alec. Uh, I think the Academy is going to pick Christian Bale. I pick Christian Bale. Exceptional performance, uh, uh, especially if you've uh, kept up with his career. Uh, Jeffrey Rush, I, I loved him. He was wonderful in the King's Speech. And you do have a flabby tummy, so we'll need to spend some time strengthening your diaphragm. Simple mechanics. Fine. Dragon jail went up the hill. Went up the hill. Who put her in? Little Tommy Tim. Da, ma, ba. And up comes a so, I actually, I'd pick. I'd be, I'd be in between on the, on those two. But I believe the Academy will pick Christian Bale. A guy I I don't really think should have been there is Jeremy Renner in the town. He was good, exciting movie, but I don't think he should have been there for uh, uh, one of the five best supporting actors. Yeah, I think the Academy just did that because, I mean, they, they kind of have these guys that become their guys they just nominated. And they nominated John, Jeremy Renner last year for The Hurt Locker. Um, so I think he's become one of those people they're going to start regularly nominating. Well, I think he deserved it last year for The Hurt Locker, yeah. but not for this one. I thought I think he was, I do think he was good in, in it, um, but does he deserve to be in the top five? Mm, I'm not sure. 